Out of the 24 names on there, who could you tell me something about? John Russell was here this weekend. Okay, who's John Russell? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's here. Oh, okay, Brett. I have a little Okay, so John Russell. He's a physical therapist, doctor of physical therapy. He is a writer for T Nation. We will talk about T Nation because T Nation is where a lot of these people got their start. T Nation would be like, in sport, think of it like the ACC. It's one of the biggest conferences. It's a powerhouse. If you want to make a name for yourself in the fitness industry, T Nation is where a lot of people start. John Russin was the best writer for T Nation in 2015, 2016, or it may have been 16, 17, not quite sure, two of those. But he's one of the top up and coming uh, physical therapists in the, in the world. He did the pain-free summit. That's what we're not summit, pain-free seminar this weekend. Who else? Okay, the Brett guy, the glute god. The glute guy, Brett Contreras. He has a PhD in how the gluteus maximus works in biomechanics. Yep. Okay, well I did two. Got two. Sohi Lee is considered one of the most influential female fitness professionals out there. She has a background from Stanford. She trained under Cressy, intern there, and then she worked with Lane Norton. And she is definitely a well-respected fitness female. That's three. Eric Who's Eric Cressy? Shoulder guru. He works with baseball players. When it comes to shoulder health, Eric Cressy is the guy. Like Brett is the glute guy, Cressy is the shoulder guru. He has Cressy performance in Florida as well as Boston, somewhere in Massachusetts. It's four. Yep. So Dean Somerset is a is a hip guru. He is out of Canada. He's been a trainer for over 20 years. He just separated to be his own. I like he has a great story or an article on why you should work in a gym and how he did that for 18 years. He is he works with a lot of professional teams. He works with Tony. Tony Genocor was Eric Cressy's partner for Cressy Performance. And he is another shoulder guy. That's a, so that's five right there. Nice. ISSN, International Sports, International Society of Sports Nutrition. Jose Antonio, Dr. Antonio is one of the leading researchers in protein metabolism in, in the world sports-based nutrition. Wolf, wolf, fried barbell. Do you guys know who's the person on the NBA logo? No. Jerry West, considered Top 50 best basketball players ever. He's on the logo, uh, logo, the logo of the NBA. Think of Westside Barbell like that, where they are one of the most influential strength camps in the world by Louis Simmons. And this is a lot of this is westernized. This isn't getting into the Russian and all the different lifters and coaches that have come from the Western, the Eastern Russia and and European countries. Pavel Tatsulini, he is the kettlebell guru. And if you notice how I have them under the godfathers of fitness, there's a lot more than these. But these five right here, and the reason I'm going over this is because it's always interesting. It, for me, <laughs> I have like a complex when I'm around like the big, like these guys that I know a lot of them. And it's like, when people ask stupid questions, it's like one of those things like, oh, damn it, why'd you say that? Like, 
you just look like an idiot <laughs> when you say stupid stuff like who's Pavel people say that all the time it's like this list you should just memorize and if anyone ever mentions your name you should know everything about them <laughs> yeah and there I'm probably leaving off a, a solid another 50 people that are that are top names in the industry Jill Miller, I've mentioned her a few times, and she has a lot with CrossFit and yoga, and she does, she's well respected. So when we get into the CrossFit camp, you got Kelly Starrett, and again, I'm, I'm leaving off, I'm not even getting into the power world, powerlifting, that's not on here. <laughs> it's really just Westside Barbell is the only one, and Wendler with 531. But Wendler is... John was talking about him, and it's like people will talk about these guys. And I think it's so the reason we're talking about this right now is because as a new trainer, you need to learn from the best. I was fortunate enough to meet one of these people who I've never met before, Chad Waterbury. He's one of the original writers for T Nation. He's like, you could put him over here on The Godfather. He's a really, really big name. And John was giving me crap because he says it's like we had a little bromance over the weekend because he's like a, a redneck country boy and he likes to drink and make fun of all the fitness guys because they don't because they eat so well and him and I were taking shots at Jaeger last night and having a good time but he gave me the best advice for for new trainers he says my piece of advice is that it's not even like rocket science it's so crazy when you talk to these people but it's just be around top trainers that was his advice so when he graduated from college he looked up Michael Jordan's strength and conditioning coach and this was back in the, in the 80s and he found out where he trained out of in Chicago and he went and worked for that gym just to be around that guy that's pretty cool when you think about that mentality where he's just like to be the best you gotta learn from the best and so how are you going to put yourself in situations to learn and be around the top people? Who in here knows Ben Bruno? Yep. So he's, he's a, like the, I mean, he's just like Brett, not like a blue, not like a, I would kind of classify Ben as like a celebrity trainer. He's done a lot for the industry with the landmine. He's very creative with his exercises. And he's been, he's, he's getting in the trenches. He trains. He worked under Mike Boyle, who I don't even have on here. That's another name I forgot. I would put, um, that's why I was looking for a fifth one. And Mike Boyle would definitely, Mike Boyle, Mark, Vershagen. I forgot about those two guys. When did all these people start becoming like well known? Or I mean, have they always been? And then just someone just kind of found them and then just went out from there. Like they found well on Instagram. And so look at look at the story I just told about Chad. So Chad Waterbury. Who was he in college? No one. Who was he when he went to go work for the gym in Chicago under? In, around the strength coach of Michael Jordan. No one. What did he do? Trained. What did he continue to do? Learn. Works incredibly hard and very, very, very smart. Started writing blogs back in the day. Got picked up by a teen nation. Don't know how, but that's we started writing. And then he turned into one of the biggest writers like ever for teen 